Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're always updating you on what's going on up in the great white north. More violence popping off this past weekend in Montreal. The uh, the great Canadian mafia war is alive and well, guys. So uh, this all has to do with what's this most recent kind of machination of what's happening in there. Uh, all these wars within wars right now, we're kind of talking about the Rizzuto mob, the Hells Angels, and the street gangs. So uh, street gang leader Jean-Philippe Celestine, a.k.a. the Butcher, uh, he leads the Rizzuto mob street gang faction. His brother got killed last month. Uh, then this just in the last 72 hours, uh, one of his lieutenants, a guy by the name of uh, Jesse Furtado Bernard, uh, was killed in a brawl at a strip club uh, on the north shore of Montreal at a place called uh, Old Gascones. Um, big brawl broke out, I believe, for a Thursday night into Friday. He was stabbed to death. They have a, a, a suspect in custody right now. And then just on Saturday night, Jean-Philippe Celestine's parents' house was riddled with bullets in a drive-by um, more, you know, just explosive dynamics to what's going on there. Uh, the Celestine crew is under attack. Uh, they took over for Greg Woolley, who had run the Rizzuto mobs, um, street gang, uh, faction before Woolley was assassinated in November. Uh, Jean-Philippe took over for Greg Woolley at the behest of the Rizzuto mob at the end of last year. And now it's just been one thing after the other in 2024. His brother, uh, Jean Brandon, was killed, leaving his headquarters in Montreal's Little Italy. I should say leaving Jean Philippe's headquarters in Little Italy called Elio's uh, Restaurante. Uh, that was in the middle of February. And now uh, one of his Lieutenants is killed in a strip club. We're not sure if that homicide had anything to do with the tensions that are brewing in the underworld or if it was just, uh, you know, you bumped into me or you disrespected me or you said something to me and that erupted into a fatal stabbing. But there's no question that the uh, drive-by at Celestine's parents' house is a message, uh, another attempt to kill him, an attempt to kill people close to him. Um, and, and again, it's another example of how they're just, they're right in the crosshairs right now. And, and Leonardo Rizzuto, the boss of the Rizzuto mob, the Mafia Don of Montreal, at one point had been in an alliance with the Hells Angels, and that all fell apart. In the last uh, year to two years, um, and you have this proxy war going on between the Italians and the bikers and the street gangs are kind of split between, you know, which group is going to go with the bikers, which group are going to go with the Rizzutos. And it's just, you know, it's chaos uh, 24 seven. Um, it's interesting. Again, I, I think one thing to take away from this is that the Rizzuto mob is relying more and more on their street gang uh, resources to fight this war. It, you know, for 30, 40 years, the Rizzutos were uh, armed to the teeth with, you know, ammunition, with with buttons, with guys that could be their muscle, guys that could be their hitters. And via attrition, this war that's been going on on and off for 15 years, they've lost a lot of personnel. Um, they're more in kind of bunker mode right now. And from what I hear, they've uh, shifted a lot of the responsibility for boots on the ground, muscle, uh, drug dealing collections to the ethnic street gangs. So it's it's definitely a shift. And Jean-Philippe Celestine, a.k.a. The Butcher, um, very feared, very respected. Uh, he uh, averted, avoided an assassination attempt two years ago. His house was was raided back in December by authorities uh, in relation to a cold case uh, murder probes that are going on. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and he is at the center of it. Um, people are gunning for him, but attacking his parents, that's uh, that's whole other level, but it, it fits with 
with what's going on here. I mean, you got multiple continents. You got guys trying to, you know, guys cutting off fingers and toes and half a million dollar murder contracts in Europe. And then back home in Montreal, uh, you know, you have an insurgency going after a guy's mom and dad. And he killed his brother a couple weeks ago. So we'll keep you updated. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out.